What's the difference between a flat takeoff and a round takeoff? You see how this is rounded right here? Okay, this is a takeoff that you attach to a supply trunk that is made out of round pipe, right? This would fit on that round pipe on the side better than this flat takeoff would. This is a flat takeoff, right? Whenever you're gonna install your branch run or your supply branch, you're gonna use a takeoff and you're gonna attach that to your supply plume or your supply trunk. This flat takeoff is for a metal trunk, right? So we're gonna take this round takeoff right here, okay? And then I'll show you. See this round pipe here? See how that goes on there? And it's pretty flush, okay? See that? All right. Now, if you were to try to do that with a flat, I'm gonna show you what happens. Make sure I put that back. All right. Now I'm gonna take a flat, okay? Try to put this on here, see what's gonna happen. See that? See that big gap we got on each side? That wouldn't work. So you got to know what you're using each one for. That way you have the right application. Now, if we try to use this square, I'm sorry, not square. I keep saying square. If we use this flat takeoff on this square trunk, it's going to work. All right. And you can get a damper for this because there's a hole right here. So you can have a damper in each one of your lines and that's great for balancing your airflow, uh, especially if you're rerunning some lines and you didn't actually build the trunk. And you need to know which one to go with because if you're doing a round pipe, you need a rounded takeoff, right? A round takeoff. If you're doing a square trunk, you need a flat takeoff. And whenever you install this, you've got this adhesive right here. You take this off, right? And then you attach it to the duct and then it's already got some pre-drilled holes so you can screw it into the trunk. Then what you wanna do uh, is you want to actually seal this. So you can use some duck mastic or you can use some polygon mastic tape, okay? So just wanna show you the difference between a flat takeoff and a round takeoff. So you know the difference. We got a bunch of fittings here. I'll go ahead and show you some more. This right here is a reducer and this is from 22 inch to 20 inch. Look at that. Look how large that reducer is. Where would you use a 22 inch pipe for your supply or your return? You would use it on a 5 ton unit because 5 ton is rated for 2000 CFM and it, that, this right here, this 22 inch pipe is going to carry that uh, 2000 CFM, right? So, show you some other things real quick. This is an end cap. Where do you use this if you're running your round trunk? and you are going to end your supply trunk, this is what you put on the end. This is called an end cap, okay? So that's an end cap. What else can I teach you while we're here? Here's one. Here's a damper. These already come with a damper inside. So you see that? There's a damper already inside. And uh, you can see that little wing nut right there. If you guys have questions about duct work, how to size it, how to price it, how to put it in. I've got a playlist called uh, Training, HVAC Training Courses. Go check out that playlist, okay? Here's an end cap for a metal trunk line. See that? And it says end cap uh, 20 by 8. See that? We have a sheet metal shop where we build all our duck, so we don't have to order this, but it is available to order. So you can order anything you can imagine. Um, but we have a sheet metal shop, so we build it all. So it's really nice. Squared arounds. These are great. They're already pre-made. If you're installing a package unit, if you're installing a split, and you're running round duck for your supply or your return, this is great. You don't have to build it. It's already pre-made. And it looks like this one is 16 inch round and 14 by 20 for the square part. So keep that in mind. Squared arounds. You can order those. Look at that, that is awesome. Look at that. You know what this is? This is a square 90 right here. So you can order a square 90. That is awesome. Right now I'm at M&A Supply Company. 
here's the logo for M&A Supply. See, M&A Supply Company. They're the distributor that I use. I've been using them for a long time. So, 